Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the session on Levelized Cost of Green Hydrogen Financial Model Toolkit. In this presentation, we'll go through a brief introduction first, how the toolkit works, toolkit content, input forms, toolkit direct outputs and analytical outputs, and at the end, we'll go through some critical takeaways. First, a brief introduction. In the global economy and the current situation, global energy transition and decarbonization, all hands must be on deck. And that means that all efforts and resources must be put together to achieve a successful energy transition. There's no magic quick fix or a silver bullet. It's just a collaborative approach across stakeholders. A double win can be achieved and that means accelerated energy transition driven by sustainable economic recovery. An important element of this double win is green hydrogen, and that's a green hydrogen produced from electrolyzer powered by renewable energy resources. Hydrogen is a versatile energy carrier with a wide range of uses and unique attributes, especially for energy sectors that are hard to electrify. So if green hydrogen is technically a key enabler of decarbonization, then the next step or barrier to break is economics. This translates to how much does green hydrogen cost to produce and how to calculate that cost and analyze it, including pathways of cost reduction. A financial model toolkit for analyzing the last cost of hydrogen becomes necessary. This toolkit has been offered newly by DII on SaaS basis software as a service and is available exclusively again for DII members and associated partners. For the toolkit, we now offer three versions. Version 5, which is a standard version and is good for analyzing the green hydrogen production process. Version 6 is a more advanced version and includes production analysis as well as delivery infrastructure pathways. And those path pathways include up to 12 different pathways that cover the costs and attributes of conversion and reconversion, shipping via pipeline, uh, vessels, <coughs> liquefied, liquid organic uh, hydrogen carriers, and etc. Version 7 is dedicated for green ammonia, and it uses the same <coughs> functionalities of the green hydrogen toolkit, but adds the Haber-Busch process synthesis costs and attributes, as well as the air separation unit for nitrogen production and the synthesis of green ammonia. So how does the toolkit work? From these slides forward, these slides are based on version 5 production only, and the reports for the other versions, version 6 and 7, are available offline as download or attachments sent via email. So the financial model toolkit is a discounted cash flow model. Basically, the toolkit is a calculation engine that calculates the levelized cost of hydrogen in dollars per kilogram and also includes analytical outputs for variance of input parameters and what if scenarios. To run the model, the user, supposedly a desktop researcher, provides the AI with required input parameters. This one page form that covers the attributes of green hydrogen, electrolyzer plant, and then upon receipt of this input form, DRI will run the report and provide it in a PDF format. <coughs> the toolkit is structured in 11 sheets. It's an Excel-based workbook, and <coughs> it is the flow of information is, is, is shown in the table below. It has a cover sheet, content, disclaimer, project info summary, input form guide with notes and guidelines, summary of input and output in one sheet, cash flow projection, sensitivity in one dimension and two dimension, and a special export 2D high resolution table for GIS interface, as well as the toolkit has an export function to export the charts and tables into other reports format. The toolkit inputs form includes seven categories. It starts with the life cycle of 
selection, and economies of scale, the final structure, the capex with a detailed breakdown, the OPEX again with a detailed breakdown, fixed and variable energy and water and land lease, escalation rates, and stack replacement intervals. The system capacity, efficiency, degradation, and capacity factor, and lastly, decommissioning and residual value. The toolkit direct outputs include a summarized table of the breakdown of the levelized cost of hydrogen. And these breakdowns include the capex component, the opex components of energy cost, general fixed oil dam, water cost, stack replacement cost, land lease, and decommissioning and residual value. The direct outputs are also provided in a visual format <coughs> in two charts. The chart on the right is the levelized cost of hydrogen breakdown. And you, as you can see, the capex is around 32% and the energy contributes around 54% in this particular example. The chart on the left is the capex breakdown. And it's important to note that the capex breakdown shall be provided in a detailed format to include just not only the equipment, but also other indirect costs such as VAT, GST, finance costs during construction, uh, uh, and the other important parameters such as uh, developer cost and contingencies cost. The toolkit analytical outputs also include various visual charts for the easy trending and understanding of the outputs. The first chart on the left is a tornado chart, and it ranks the most important parameters in terms of weightage change per levelized cost of hydrogen variance. The toolkit also provides two-dimensional analytical outputs and what-if scenarios. These four charts are used for analyzing two parameters variances at the same time and their impact on the levelized cost of hydrogen. For example, the left uh, top chart uh, is good for analyzing the energy cost variance and the capacity cost variance. Both of those variances impact on the levelized cost of hydrogen. And as you can see, the capacity factor reduction in terms of dollar per kilogram H2 will need to be greater than 50 or 60 percent in order to have significant reduction in cost and competitive hydrogen uh, prices. The toolkit also provides uh, running the model at various life cycles, 20, 30, and 40, and these are user selectable. And the graph on the, on the, on the right uh, shows the output of dollar per kilogram H2 at various life cycles. Also, the toolkit can, can be run at uh, in different reports, for example, 20 years versus 40 years, and you can see the impact of energy cost between 20 and 40, and the impact, for example, in these two charts between the contribution of uh, capex and the reduction of capex when you consider uh, 40 years life cycle analysis. Also, you can compare the tornado charts and the impact of various parameters between 20 and 40 years. And this is important in analyzing and further optimizing the cost of green hydrogen. Some key takeaways, the green molecules era has arrived because the costs are becoming very near and very competitive to fossil fuel alternatives. Balancing technical solutions and sound economic economics will be critical to success. That means a good technical solution coupled with a competitive price. Again, all hands must be on deck to drive this energy transition successfully. And thank you for your attention. And all the charts and reports that you have seen in this presentation are available offline. And please follow up with my colleague Valeria to obtain a copy for further review and analysis. Thank you again.